Hello, 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 hello. There has been a lot of confusion about the solution of problem 24 and unfortunately I have caused that confusion. So I want to address it once more and that will really be <laughs> my last video on the topic. Solution 1, it is the brute force solution, always works. In solution 2, if you look carefully at the red line and the green line, I made an a priori assumption. Look at those two lines again. I made an a priori assumption that the current through here is the same as through there and that the current through here is the same as through there. I made that assumption. And I got two equations with two unknowns, and boy, was it a great solution. It confirmed the brute force solution. Let me now rephrase the problem. What is the condition of the circuit that the super solution works? You can work that out for yourself in the following way. So, if this current is the same as this current, then I1 must be the same as I3 minus I2. And if this current is the same as that current, then I3 minus I1 must be the same as I2. Notice that I1 equals I3 minus I2 is identical to the statement I3 minus I1 equals I2. So it is enough that you concentrate on I1 equals I3 minus I2. Call this resistor R1, this one R2, this one R3, this one R4, and this one R5. Solve the problem in the brute force way. You get three equations with three unknowns. You can solve for I1, for I2, and for I3. But now, you ask the problem the following question. What should these values, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, B, so that the super solution works. In other words, what should these five values be so that this current I1 equals I3 minus I2? And when you do that, you get the answers. And the answers are the following, that I1 will only be I3 minus I2 if this resistor has the same value as this one, and independently, but in addition to that, this resistor must have the same value as that resistor. Only in those cases will solution to work. And since that is the case, in my circuit, solution to worked. Change this one to 5R, and you no longer meet the condition that this resistor is the same as that one. End of story. Get ready for the special relativity problem number 25. Okay? Take care.